Hey everybody, Brandon Railway here. Do a quick update as I'm getting my TV turned back on. Um, doing a update on what I'm going to do with the, the TV stand and stuff. I had the uh, tunnel made. Well, blocked off. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on trying to make like a mountain side around here. So it looks like the train is actually coming out of the mountainside. I might move that tunnel portal forward. I might not. It just depends on how I do everything. But uh, as you can see, I'm slowly getting everything around to where I have my double tunnel portal here. And yes, it looks like the train's going to clip the, the foam, but it won't. Even high cube cars are still able to get through there. But just a, a little progress update on that. And then an update on the siding for track one. I'll show you where that's going to go. It is going to go in here in the bedroom. The switch is going to be probably about here. And the track will either go inside or outside. I'm not sure which yet but the reason i'm doing this is because i'll be able to make this siding a hell of a lot bigger uh, in the living room i'm only going to be able to get about 20 feet for a siding in here about 40 feet that is so it'll go probably to the inside of the track that way i'm not changing up the scene here too much i will be redoing the tunnel entrance there to support a double track come around here and then it'll stop probably right at the edge of that black so it'll be roughly like i said 40 feet instead of only 20 and i won't have to worry as much about what train i have Will it fit? Can I add to my train this and that? I'll still be able to add cars because my custom cars train is ever expanding um, slowly right now. But I still have, I think, three or four people that are looking at giving me a car or selling me a car relatively cheap or at a reasonable rate to be able to add to my custom cars train. And who knows, maybe with everything going on, I'll be doing another custom car for the frontline workers and the heroes and stuff like that, maybe. Um, I don't know. It's all a crapshoot right now. But just a quick look at my display. There's my Sonic bonnets. I still have to finish the red one, which I'm ordering decals for it. 1st of July, I will be adding two Brandon Railway locomotives, a Santa Fe and a Baltimore and Ohio 060 Porter tank engines. Of course, all four engines will be tank engines, the, the 060 Porters. And then I will be adding a Norfolk Southern Operation Lifesaver GP38-2 to go with that collection. And I will be finishing Brandon Railway's Heritage Fleet with a Canadian National GP40-2W with the wide cab. That will complete Brandon Railway's Heritage Fleet. And then that will leave just one more of those to get with different road number. To finish my locals, I will be replacing that engine because it smokes. It's not supposed to. The, the 282 uh, 689, I think it is. Yeah. The brand new Railway 282. And let's see. There is a Ferromex in the Kansas City Southern that are going to go with the TFM in Kansas City Southern to be able to complete that set. The Union Pacific, Spirit of the Union Pacific, and CSX. 1776 I will be getting sometime soon and 
there's... Oh! NS911 in 69-63, which would be the 911 honoring the first responders in the Go Rail unit. I plan on getting relatively soon, next month or two, or three. But anyhow, I'll do reviews of all of those when I get them, and as I get things re-decaled and repainted and looking much, much nicer and everything... So, just wanted to give everybody a quick update, let everybody know what's going on. I've been feeling under the weather for the past, since, like, last, not last Wednesday, the Wednesday before. And so, I've just been kind of taking it slow and, and milling around the house, doing a little bit here and there. Not much, because um, I, I got to be able to keep doing the, um, I, I got to be able to keep moving. So, anyhow... Like I said, wanted to give everybody a quick update on what was going on and show you the, the progress on that. It's going to look amazing when it's done. Trust me, it's going to be huge. Anyways, for now, this is Brandon Railway signing off.